Attention Baby Lock Solaris owners. Today we are gonna be installing the brand new upgrade um, that will essentially be taking Solaris 1 and 2 to the version 3, um, which is now known as the Solaris Vision brand new machine in the Solaris lineup. So I'm Nick, um, I'll be guiding you through it today. And we're gonna be both using a computer, which I'll be recording my screen on um, and doing some voiceovers there for you as well as showing you on the machine what you'll be navigating and changing there. So first what I want you to do is follow along with me and check out your settings page on your Solaris. Can you see that okay? So um, what you'll want to do is turn your Solaris on and go to page 7 out of 12 in the settings. Once you're there, you'll see the Solaris that I'm working with today already has kit one and kit two installed. Momentarily, we'll see kit three will become available once we, once we excuse me, perform the update. So this version of our uh, Solaris is at 3.51, that's the, the software version. What we're gonna do is we're going to download a new um, software version from our computer and that'll be 4.03. And so I'll show you the process of how to use a thumb drive to install that on your machine. What's really important out of that, uh, that we've already um, heard some, some complaints about, is that uh, BabyLock has cautioned everyone that's uh, performing this update to do it with a flash drive rather than do it over the Wi-Fi network. So uh, in the past, these updates have been smaller. They've been um, a smaller size that wasn't a big deal to do over a Wi-Fi network, but this one is quite large. It has tons of features to unpack. So instead of doing it on the machine through the Wi-Fi, um, we'll be using a flash drive, which I already have installed, uh, uh, inserted into a port on my computer. I'll be using a Mac today, but um, I'm fairly confident you'll be able to perform the same sort of um, uh, concepts here if you're using a PC. So you'll wanna start out by going to babylock.com and greeted by their homepage, you're going to uh, go to uh, either their hamburger menu and go to our products, or you can even just search up here. I'll just search today. We'll search for the Solaris and you'll click on whichever version uh, that you have. It's all gonna get you to the same place either way uh, if you put, pick the Solaris or the Solaris 2 but I'm just going to click on Solaris 2 because I'm familiar with that product page. And once you're at the, the page here, um, you'll see a, a set of links and buttons and stuff like that. You're going to find the link titled Manuals, Updates, and Brochures. Click there. Um, there are going to be some instructions for um, installing this new update, which you can download. I've read them. I know how to do it, so I won't be uh, showing that but that's there for you. It's in a PDF form, so you can uh, follow along, and it's a nice step-by-step -step, um, uh, set of instructions. But what we'll be uh, downloading here is just the actual update file, and that's this button below it. What I'm gonna do is save that over to um, my flash drive. And um, if you've performed updates before, you know this, but You'll always want to use a completely fresh, completely clean flash drive. What I mean by that is do not keep any other design files on there. Don't have pictures, nothing else like that. It needs to be completely blank and it's even better if you can um, reformat one uh, that's been previously used or just buy a fresh uh, flash drive. If you need those, we do have them available for you. So I'll download this to my updates flash drive. Um, like I said, it's uh, pretty big. so. Um, We'll fast forward through this part as it downloads. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Now that we've got the update downloaded on our flash drive, you're gonna want to safely eject it. How you do that is different again on PC and Mac, but I always just glance over uh, the um, drive itself and right click and hit eject. You can do this in the bottom right hand corner of most Windows uh, PC computers. So that's it uh, that we're doing on the computer right now. I can eject this flash drive safely. And what we're gonna do next is insert the flash drive um, into the port, uh, the top port, USB port on your machine. 
But what we got to do is we have to turn your machine off if it's on. And we're going to hold the automatic threading button as we turn the machine back on. And you'll see what that's done is it's um, brought us into the software loading screen. So now I can put this in to that same port I talked about moments ago. Click the first icon and hit load. Again, this will take a while too. We'll speed past it. So we waited long enough that it started raining, if you hear that in the background, um, and the upgrade is complete. It only took about five minutes. Um, so once that's done, what we're gonna do is turn the power off. And we're also going to eject any flash drive that we have. You don't need that in there anymore. Just set that aside. Turn your machine back on normally. Also something to note, what I've gone over, um, you should have in uh, this installation guide inside of your package. Um, and it's you know a great step-by-step -step way of uh, looking at this and, and reading the procedures in the manual. But um, if you're like me, uh, there's some people that are very visual, so that's why we thought this video could be helpful. What you'll need to do uh, once your machine's back on is uh, again, pull out the instruction guide so that you have a little reference and this um, this card. And I'm not gonna show you the code because I don't wanna um, jeopardize anyone's security here, but we have a scratch ticket kind of thing on the back that we've scratched with a nickel, and it gives us a 16 digit code. Uh, you've spent your hard earned money to upgrade the software. It's different than an update. We were just kind of going over this as a team. Think of update as bug fixes, um, the updates are free from baby lock and you want to do those as soon as they come out just like updates to your your computer your phone you know we're all used to those these days upgrades are where you actually get new features and functionality and in this case more accessories and more designs so follow me along here we're going to go to our settings page um, again page number seven and um, as i had shown you earlier you'll now see that kit three is available um, for us to certify this machine with, and we are at the correct version of 4.03. It needs to be at this version for Kit 3 to even show as an, avail an available upgrade. Hit certification, hit number three, hit normal, and then this is where I'm gonna um, enter this number. Okay, we gotta make an edit here, I was wrong. And so instead of just entering the number here from your lottery ticket, You'll be going to a link, um, which I'll hop back on the computer and do a screen share for that. And wh what you'll do there is, it's okay if you're at this screen, this is actually good. You'll enter your machine number. This is the identifier that BabyLock uses for this exact um, machine. And then you'll enter this scratched lottery ticket that I have here on the back of this card. Once you do that, and you'll see me go through that process, it will then give you the number, um, the code itself. Uh, that is your certification key number, and we'll enter that here. So bear with me, uh, and we'll show you how to get that certification key next. Okay, so what we'll be doing is going to the link on your card in pink at the bottom of the card. It's babylock.com slash B-L-S-A-U-3. <laughs> Someone's phone's ringing. So once you're at this screen, you could download the manual if you, again, want to get some additional uh, support with this procedure. Um, but right now I'm just going to hit on the certification procedure. Um, we are not connected here. Like I said, we're not doing the updates um, over Wi-Fi. So we're going to hit not connected, but you'll read for your own environment and see what your answer is, either connected or not connected. Um, wireless LAN is unavailable, but we are at 4.03. So uh, we are at the latest. That's essentially what the um, procedure is asking of us, is to make sure what we're at that latest software version in order for this certification to work at all. All right, here's where I'm gonna hide that sensitive information, but you will enter your own machine number um, as we had pointed out on the 
machine screen. It's also, uh, let's uh, show you here. It's also available um, on page seven under the uh, setting that says number. It's this long number. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten digit number. All right, so we have our certification key um, that we got from babylock.com. And what we'll do next is go back to the machine. And we were once here, but you know, I paused to show you the right way to do it. And then we'll enter the certification key. Everyone's is gonna be different. You don't need to know mine. We don't need to know yours. Uh, but just enter that and we'll skip to the part where we hit set and then I'll show you how to prove that the machine has the features installed at that point. Okay, so to check, again, we're gonna go to the same settings screen, page number seven. And then you'll see instead of that being an open sort of um, icon there, it is grayed out, meaning that it has been installed. An additional verification method is uh, to go to your embroidery home screen and you'll see, look at that, you have these brand new long stitch designs, you have some continuous embroidery designs, uh, some more edge to edge. So this home screen is how you'll be able to confirm you didn't have these before um, uh, the upgrade. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. And if you have any questions, we're here for you. Um, we are gonna be having some more in-store things, uh, talking about the features. We'll be producing some more videos, but I just wanted to get everyone's, uh, I wanted to get the information out to as many people as I could on how to first get this on the machine so that you're ready to go and you can start using these features right away. Uh, again, I'm Nick from Myers Sewing and thanks for watching.